Hi, this is the Math Channel YouTube. In this video, I just want to talk about things that I had always been curious about in my school days, which means before I learned the math in university. So, by the way, before that, let me tell you about myself very briefly. Well, I'm majoring in math education and computer science at the same time in Korea and currently making videos about math on YouTube in Korea and sometimes in English. And <laughs> please understand that my voice sounds tired since I'm recording this at 3 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so back in high school, the most confusing concept for me was actually an axiom. What is an axiom, by the way? They say an axiom is a statement that is taken to be true to serve as kind of starting point for further reasoning. But after hearing this explanation of an axiom, you might say, why do you take it to be true? But they always answered like, to define certain concept, you need other concepts. And to define these concepts, you need another concept. So since you can't do this forever, you need to stop somewhere. So from that, what I felt was like, Okay, I got it. I understood the necessity of stopping somewhere, but exactly where do I have to? Just somewhere I felt it's enough. Is it math if I do that? Of course not. You know, math has to be extremely accurate and precise. So instead of thinking about it like this, I wanted to think about it in a different way. By the way, I'm not trying to deal with very mathematically precise things here, since I already dealt with piano axiom in my other video in Korean. So I just want to let students understand the feeling and concepts of an axiom very briefly. So let's say you are a computer scientist trying to build the world with certain physics engine which satisfies some kinds of laws of physics like first law, and second one, and third one. And someone comes to you to say that, hey, I saw the man flying in your world. Don't you think it's an error? But you can say, no, it's not. I never said I would create the same world as the real world from the start. And after calculating some equations with these three laws, it's obvious that it can fly. Of course, I didn't realize these three axioms would make the man fly at first, but I just wondered what would happen if I built the world with these three axioms of physics. Now, can you feel the true meaning of an axiom? Yeah, this is why you don't have to prove an axiom. You have to take it to be true. Because, you know, we are not wondering if these axioms are true or false, but actually, whether they are true or false, we are just curious about what would happen if we taken them to be true. But, of course, it's an entirely different matter to figure out which axiom you would need to make certain world you are thinking from to figure out what the world will be like with certain axiom. But, like I said, I'm not gonna deal with profound things like axiomatic set theory, complex analysis, piano axiom here, since I wanna make this video as some kind of simple lecture for general people who are not majoring in math, or maybe some students. So let's just finish here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.